This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuckCoins.com. Make sure you head on over there for all your Muck coin purchases. Use code GS5 for a discount at checkout. What up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS. Welcome back to another Madden 15 offline franchise. And today, we are in week three. Now, we are actually 2-0. and And we're going up against the Denver Broncos, who are as well 2-0. and And uh, should definitely make for an interesting game. Now, the playbook that we go ahead and land on is Jacksonville. Now, uh, I don't believe I've tried Jacksonville yet this year. I mean, it is a, a playbook that I did run in Madden, I want to say, to, was it 012? Pretty sure it was Madden 12. That's when uh, the first Madden I remember of, of me being able to use the uh, counter out of shotgun. And uh, with the, you know, they still have that play, Snooks, shot, uh, counter. Did you see me running? So uh, right here we go to the wheel route and uh, yeah, just played that astronomically biblical. Like that was supposed to be just complete as Curtis Painter is the other uh, QB. Um, you know, that wheel route is definitely is a man beater, but uh, wasn't on that play. Definitely was not on that play whatsoever. So we throw interception. That right there, of course, is not a good way we want to start the game. You know, uh, never a good thing when you go on ahead and uh, throw an interception on your first drive. So, uh, definitely frustrating. Hopefully, our defense can come through and do, um, you know, come up big for us. Now, the um, our defense has been playing spectacularly well as of late. Definitely cannot lie about that. Our defense has been playing really well. Third and eight, we get ourselves to stop, and uh, they actually punt the ball. So, that right there was good. You know, it's a defensive stand. We played well, and we got our stop. Right here, unfortunately, we cannot connect on the screenplay right there. And that right there sucked. Because he had a lot of room in front of him. But we do throw a quick comeback route to the rookie right there. Here we go with LaShawn McCoy. Again, my spin moves have just been not on point. But on second and six, we get we make it a manageable first down situation. Right here, we go deep up top and Shaboykin. That right there is a beautiful, and I mean beautiful throw by Carr, which he doesn't make too many of. If you guys have been watching this series for a while, you guys know that that man will absolutely throw some of the worst passes that uh, any human can possibly make. But that one was just a beautiful wheel route thrown over the top as they scored a touchdown right there. And uh, so they end up tying the game 7-7. Now, here we go. Definitely trying to go on ahead and have similar results as last time. Uh, first and 10, we go back to the counter with LaShawn McCoy. Finally, I get a spin move that gives me some space. Um, second and one, we lose a couple yards. So on third and four, again, we go back to the comeback route. And that has definitely been a go-to route of ours that we've been able to go on ahead and utilize and take advantage of. Uh, you know, because they're playing a good amount of man-to-man. -man. Again, another man-to-man -man route. We go back to Stone, the 6'6 rookie. Have himself a pretty good year. Again, as you can see, we try to go to the screen because I know what McCoy can do if I get some blockers in front of me. Second and five, we just go underneath. Unfortunately, he stopped, but thankfully, he picked up the first down. First and ten right here. We're looking. We go back to the wheel run, and it, it is dropped. Nothing else of you have got to be kidding me, man. Uh, big drop. Third and nine right here. We drop back. We're looking. Nobody's really open. We decide to take off a car and just can't really find nobody. We go across field and almost, almost pick up the first down. So we have to go on ahead and settle for a field goal. Not the best thing in the world, but definitely not the worst. Um, so we end up taking our three points. And, you know, 10 to 7. So here we go back again on defense. It's FM. But Palomalu destroyed him. But unfortunately, we are unable to go on ahead and pick up that fumble. Uh, one thing that the computer does so frustratingly well is that they will tiptoe on the sideline and, like, never go out of bounds, ever. As uh, Curtis Painter right here is the second coming of Jesus. This man is just throwing dots left and right. I can't force him to completely pass. Every time he throws the ball, somebody's open every single time. He takes off, throws on the run, picks up the first down uh, right here, first and 10. Standing in the pocket, quick underneath route. Breaks the tackle, which might have actually cost him a yard. But second and six, throws it, hits off their player's helmet. Third and six, can we get the necessary stop underneath? They always have that one underneath route. Look at it. Like, you see what I mean? Towards the sidelines. Somebody's just always open over there towards the sideline. Um, and they always, always, always have that one route that just rushes towards. Like, always, man. It's so frustrating. Right here, really quick slant right here. Trying to get to at least Vogel range to see if we can go on ahead and hopefully tie the game at minimum. But, I mean, hey, we can go on ahead and another drop pass. 
If we can go on ahead and get ourselves a touchdown to take the lead, that would be great. Another underneath the run right here. Really quick double juke towards the inside. And we're getting closer to the field goal range right here. We have two timeouts, so we definitely have plenty of time. Uh, in Madden, uh, that's definitely plenty of time. In real life, that, that's not a lot of time. But in Madden, in Madden, you're working with some, some time right here. Uh, we decided to roll out a card. Nobody was open. We just go out of bounds right here. We dropped back really quick throw underneath and unfortunately we didn't get a bounce. So we just uh, wasted the clock down call timeout and we end up kicking a field goal going into halftime down one. So, uh, you know, I would like to have been in a better situation, but nonetheless, we're still right there in the game. You know what I mean? We don't uh, we're even if they score it's still a one possession game. So uh, again, did they go with that underneath the route that they always have towards the sideline? Third and seven right here, and of course, they hit us with a comeback of our own. We're killing them with comebacks, and they're killing us with comebacks. Uh, bad throw right there. Actually, one of the few times you will see on all Madden, the computer just completely missed a throw. And speaking of missing things, I completely whiffed on that uh, tackle right there. Going on ahead and giving them way more yards than uh, they, he should have had. Second and three, run the ball again, and they end up picking up the first down. And I'm just having trouble. Like, look, look, uh, wow. I mean, wow. Beautiful play design, beautiful running right there, and he ended up scoring a touchdown. So, in order for us to make anything happen, we need to score a touchdown and two point conversion now. Um, it's still early on in the season, but we're playing really well. You know, we started 2 0 as we take a sack right there. And it's like, I really want this victory. I really want to be able to start 3 0. Uh, right here, we get a drop pass, which would have made it a manageable third down situation. Right here, we need basically a miracle to pick up this first down, and unfortunately, we don't get anything. So, we're forced to go on ahead and just punt the ball right there, and I'm just hoping that we can get a stop, because if they score, it's now a two-possession game, and it's not looking good for us. So, we have to keep them out of field goal range right here. It's a must, and it looks like they already accomplished that right there. And again, right towards the sideline, they never go out of bounds. They just perfectly run right there, and they end up scoring another set. So now it's not looking good. Now this is reminding me of just last year. Of, you know, hanging in there, but then just letting it completely slip away at the end. And uh, it's just not looking good. So uh, here we go, standing in the pocket right here. And that right there was just a horrible throw. I wanted to go to the underneath drag route, but he completely overthrew it. Threw it right to the defender. And, like, there's, there's nothing I can do about it. There's literally nothing I can do about that. Just underneath drag route, and he just flat out missed and a lot of people are like, yo, you got to get rid of Carr, man. I know, I know. I Believe me, when I say I know I need me a quarterback that can actually throw accurately all the time. It was crazy. I've been working on him through game prep. And I've, I've been getting myself, you know, points for him and making sure I go on ahead and uh, try to work on his accuracy, his short accuracy. His short accuracy, I boosted up like 30 points. But he still misses easy throws, man. Like uh, right there, just desperation at this point i need points i need points in a hurry and uh i know mike wallace is my fastest receiver if anybody can get behind the secondary it's him so we just took a shot tossed it up and you know nothing happened so uh just by the score you know we're definitely not going to have any chance of realistically uh coming back we would need a lot and i mean a lot of things to go our way in order for us to make something happen and you know again just Trying to force things, man, and we ended up just getting flat out demolished this game. Uh, they played well. We had our opportunities. We made mistakes, and unfortunately, things did just not go our way. So, uh, yeah, we got demolished. This is a game I quickly want to forget <laughs> and uh, head on to the next game where we can hopefully go on ahead and get ourselves a victory because, yeah, this game, we got absolutely dominated, and uh, it wasn't fun. It absolutely wasn't fun. There's nothing fun about just getting absolutely dominated. So that's the end of the game, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. We went ahead and got flat out destroyed this game. And, uh, oh, man, we got we got some improvements to make, man. Because just when I think we're doing good, we're 2-0. We're rolling. We won with playbooks with no shotgun. And then we run into Denver. And Denver put us right back in our place. So uh, hopefully that doesn't continue. We can go on ahead and win next week against the Browns. Your boy GS, we're signing out. Peace.